evening all of you honorable Princi uh, president advocate gautam bhai janta shikshan mandal management committee members today's resource person mr manoj somkuwar sir dr anil patil sir principal of our college dr kanade sir iqsc coordinator of uh, jsm college my colleagues teachers students myself dr jayashri patil it's my great pleasure to welcome you all in today's workshop our nation is celebrating the 75th anniversary of india's independence under the banner of azadi ka amrut mahotsav under this initiative a national intellectual property awareness mission that is nipam was launched by dp iit government of india on 8 december 2021 the pan india ambitious mission aims to provide awareness on ipr to 1 million students and it aims to inculcate the spirit of creativity and innovation to students and teachers of higher education as a part of said mission iqsc of our college and office of controller of general uh, general of patent design and trademarks jointly organize one day national workshop on ipr and uh, now i would like to invite our principal dr anil patil sir to express his views thank you madam good morning to all of you i welcome all of you for this webinar on national intellectual property awareness i welcome mr manoj somkuwar for this uh, particular webinar who is the resource person for this particular webinar and i am sure uh, his guidance will be very helpful to our teachers or staff members i would like to thank the department for promotion of industry and internal trade from the ministry of commerce and industry government of india for giving this opportunity to our college to conduct this webinar as our madam has expressed that this is a program under azadi ka amrut mahotsav and this is a very important topic a relevant topic the intellectual property rights or the awareness on this particular uh, topic should be there the teachers the researchers and the students should also know what it exactly and i'm sure uh, mr manoj samkuwar will give the uh, knowledge or enrich our knowledge on this field in this field and that will be helpful to all of us on behalf of my management uh, our president advocate gautam patil and on behalf of all of us the jsm college the teachers and students i welcome mr manoj somkuwar and i will take not much time i will request manoj sir to uh, deliver his lecture thank you sir thank you sir for your valuable message for today's workshop we have resource person manoj somkuwar sir assistant controller of patents and designs patent office mumbai now it's my honor to introduce manoj sir sir has completed bsc in nagpur university diploma in pharmacy msc in biotechnology from amravati university llb and llm in ipr from university of mumbai sir has cleared csir net grf and gate exams and has one year research experience in academic and research institute sir has also nine years of experience as a examiner of patents and designs such a great personality we have for this uh, webinar now i would like to request manoj sir to uh, start the session uh, thank you jayesh madam hello everyone thank you for having me myself manoj somkuwa i am assistant controller of patent and design and i am going to speak uh, to you about intellectual property right to begin in today's knowledge driven economy ipr is very important for protecting the growth of your business to be specific nowadays various industries run on innovations to expand the market expand in the market any company that wishes to attain a good position in the market has to keep developing different strategies to gain a competitive edge and uh, to protect their position in the market intellectual property rights play a vital role in this uh, protecting uh, position in the market intellectual property right help to protect the company's invention uh, uh, that an intellectual property rights promotes healthy competition in the market that proves to be a beneficial for the economy of the country 
Uh, nowadays, in intellectual property is very important tool to protect their invested money, invested time, and invested efforts. They, uh, uh, they, uh, they that will help to economic growth of a company. And now, uh, we will specifically begin with intellectual property. Um, means, uh, it is important tool to protect the invested money, time, and efforts in the that pro, to promote the development of economic growth therefore in last decade ipr is very important tool uh, for from the point of view of students researchers and academic institutes i know daily you encounter hundreds of various intellectual property rights just to brush up your mind i have an uh, exercise in my uh, presentation you have to just uh, identify the uh, identify the image and if you know anything more uh, but then um, identifying, you just share with uh, share your knowledge. Okay, I will I will start your exercise. You have to just uh, tell me which uh, logo is this or which uh, means uh, what is this? Can you you can uh, write in your chat box? Hello, am audible? Hello, Mercedes Mercedes the logo. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. This is Mercedes logo. This is a brand very famous uh, in automobile industry. This, this brand is well known worldwide for its luxurious uh, vehicles uh, and for that uh, these uh, vehicles from this brand having some uh, performance. Now you have to uh, uh, miss identify the this. What is this? Can you identify? Apple mobile. Uh, this is this is M1 chip. This is ARM based uh, ROC uh, SOC that is uh, recently developed uh, developed by Apple and launched in uh, market. Okay, so this is uh, what uh, why I am uh, I mean showing this. This is also at, uh, an intellectual property. Okay, now you have to identify the. You know, I know a uh, lot of people have uh, listened this and lots of people have identified this. What is this? This is uh, uh, mean audio trademark of Britannia Industries. So this is also an intellectual property. Can you identify this? Solapur Chadar. Yeah, this is Solapur Chadar from Maharashtra district. This, this is well known for its legitimacy. Means, uh, this is first uh, GI from Maharashtra state. Can you identify this uh, image? Hapus. Amba. This, this is uh, uh, this is uh, Hapus. This is also agriculture GI from Maharashtra state. So I have uh, shown you different types of intellectual properties. So, uh, to begin, what is intellectual property? First, we will say what is property. Property is a thing that a person having legal or a, a legal title over it. That is called property. And property can be defined as tangible property and intangible property. Tangible, uh, tangible property can be, uh, is this the, having uh, tangible properties, the property having physical existence, means uh, land, building, car, furniture. Tangible property again divided into immobile property and movable property. And uh, second type of property is intangible property. Means this property having economical value but doesn't having any physical existence. And uh, intellectual property is covered under intangible property. So this is a, uh, a property. And uh, to be specifically speaking, what is uh, intellectual property? Intellectual property having different types of intellectual property covered under uh, under the head of intellectual property. Uh, different type of intellectual intellectual properties are patterns, design, trademarks, copyright, GI, and semiconductor integrated circuit layout design. These are all considered under, uh, as an intellectual property. So, what are the uh, nature of intellectual property? The uh, first uh, nature of intellectual property, it is a creation of human mind, means that intellectual property is originated from human mind uh, with, the, uh, uh, with the help of uh, human mind, means it is generated from the intellect of a human being. Okay, next, uh, next uh, criteria is inter uh, intellectual property is intangible in nature, means 
uh, that having some uh, economic value but doesn't having any physical existence uh, third uh, third uh, nature of intellectual property it is exclusive human rights given by the statute means law have provide some exclusive rights regarding uh, your intellectual property uh, next one is attended with limitation and expectation these intellectual property rights as i have already mentioned have exclusive nature but these uh, um, rights are not given as it is means uh, absolute but you have some uh, limitation and expectation uh, while uh, getting these rights the next next criteria um, nature is these intellectual property is territorial in nature means the uh, your intellectual property rights are um, bound to specific geographical area means if you are you are um, um, register your intellectual property in india then your intellectual property rights will be uh, executable in india only if you want to uh, protect your intellectual intellectual property in some other countries means if you want to protect your intellectual property in us or europe in that condition you have to register your intellectual property in that country and that's why it is called as territorial in nature uh, last point is uh, intellectual property rights given is time bound means it is not uh, some point, uh, some intellectual properties like patent having validity a patent uh, patent uh, rights are uh, limited to 20 years for uh, this uh, for uh, design it is 10 years 10 plus 5 years and for uh, copyright material it is uh, 60 years uh, plus life of uh, author okay so these are the uh, nature of intellectual property rights now to introduce you a various type of intellectual property how your life is uh, encircled with various intellectual property our office have pre prepared a video i will show this video to uh, introduce you various uh, to various intellectual properties just have a look on that video. Yes, sir. This way. How was it? How was it? Ho, ho, it way. So as I have seen, uh, very, uh, we are encountered uh, from uh, early morning to late night, we are encountered with number of intellectual properties. Now we will see how intellectual property or uh, offices organize. Means as uh, we have, uh, we can see here, our intellectual property office comes under control and general of patents and design and trademarks. Uh, there are uh, four patent offices in uh, India. That means uh, four uh, sections are there. New Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata. 
and trademark office situated in mumbai patent office uh, mumbai trademark office delhi trademark office kolkata trademark office and chennai uh, trademark office and ahmedabad trademark office design patent of uh, design office is in kolkata gi indication registry office is in chennai copyright office is in new, new delhi semiconductor and ic layout design registry is in new delhi our training center that is rj nipm in nagpur appellate board was there initially but uh, recently in uh, 2021 it was abolished by parliamentary uh, parliament and last one is cipam that cell for intellectual property promotion and management the, the office is situated in new delhi now we will see first intellectual property what is patent patent is an exclusive right given to a person for invention uh, inventing a, a product or a post, process process means a new way to doing something or offer a new technical solution to a problem that is uh, that is uh, called as patent and uh, period of patent that is validity of patent is 20 years the uh, limited monopoly, monopoly granted to uh, by the state of a country uh, uh, on behalf means uh, only after uh, inventor discloses all uh, all know how of the its invention so this is patent okay so condition of patentability means first condition is as i already mentioned that uh inventor have to disclose all his uh, uh, all uh, all about his invention to the uh, uh, means government only then he can get a exclusive right another uh, condition uh, means conditions are loyalty uh, means his invention should, uh, means his invention should be uh, not uh, known to public uh, not known to public on uh, that public uh, before his means uh, uh, application for patent another criteria is inventive step means uh, your uh, invention should not be obvious to a person of uh, with ordinary skill in the art means that uh, if you means uh, merge two inventions in a one means uh, if if you having uh, bicycle as a invention and if you uh, bring uh, a one bicycle with a uh, torch that is not in uh, miss invention this miss if you mix a plus b and you come with uh, some uh, miss uh, to the patent office that i i need uh, i need to register this design as a invent uh, invent to product then in that case it is not registrable as a patent the last uh, last part is industrial applicability means your product or process can be used or produced from in the industry that is that is the third criteria for uh, patentability now we will see uh, who can file a patent the patent can be filed by the inventor or assignee of the inventor or legal uh, legal representative of the uh, that uh, invent, inventor the inventor means the person uh, who is claiming uh, as the true and first inventor or the assigner means if a, uh, if a inventor invented something and he assign his right to someone else means third person in that case that assigner can be uh, fi can file for registration or last one is legal representative if the inventor uh, while uh, prosecution get get died in that case his, uh, his uh, legal rep representative can continue with the that uh, patent application now jurisdiction of the uh, of uh, filing of a patent application initially our patent office uh, uh, allow only physical filing means you have to go to patent office and file your patent application but nowadays uh you can file your patent application in uh, uh, this uh, online but for the filing of uh, physical filing you need to go to uh, various patent office or uh, miss uh, if you are in uh, maharashtra state then you are uh, maharashtra state is covered in mumbai patent office then you have to go to mumbai patent office for physical filing uh, in the same way chennai uh, chennai patent office covers state of andhra pradesh karnataka Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Union Territory of Pondicherry, and Lakshadweep. New, New Delhi Patent Office covers state of Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu Kashmir, Punjab, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand. All these uh, uh, states are covered under New, New Delhi. And Kolkata Patent Office covers rest of the India and uh, uh, most of the eastern uh, states. So this is in in case of uh, if you go for uh, physical filing. If you if you are If you go for uh, this electronic filing, you can file uh, your uh, 
patent application anywhere anywhere from india this is the ip india website you can uh, find a comprehensive e filing portal here if you uh, click on this uh, um, tab it will uh, take you to the uh, online e filing portal now what are the filing requirement for a uh, patent application that uh, patent application need uh, form 1 that is application form in uh, that form 1 uh, you have to mention all the details about applicant inventor and their address and all the uh, bibliographic information on form 1 in form 2 you have to mention uh, you know, means uh, you have to disclose all your uh, application uh, invention in form 2 all the technical and legal description should be given in form 2 form 3 is statement of foreign filing if you have filed your patent application other than uh, india indian country then you have to uh, declare all this information foreign filing uh, information in form 3 then you have to file form 18 that is request, request for examination uh, after that you have to file form 5 that is declaration of inventorship means uh, uh, who are the inventor of that invention you have to declare in form, form 5 if you want to uh, uh, request for early publication then you have to file form 9 and if you have uh, appointed as any patent agent then you have to declare means uh, you have to give information in form 26 that is power of autonomy uh, then you have to give proof of right means if you are applic uh, means inventor have assigned their rights to applicant then you have to file proof of right okay so these are filing requirements for patent application now we will see uh, what is form one form one is there in which you have to right in uh, para 3 you have to uh, give detail of applicant means whether it is an uh, inventor or uh, uh, someone third party means assigning assign in that uh, uh, in uh, uh, para 3 you have to mention this in uh, uh, para 3b you have to uh, mention whether it uh, you are a natural person startup small entity or any other in para 4 you have to mention invent name of inventor uh, this is a form to a format in that you have to mention title of invention applicants detail name nationality address then whether you, your application is provisional uh, application or complete specific uh, provisional uh, application means when uh, you are still working on a in, uh, uh, patent application uh, patent invention and uh, you think that you have to uh, you have to block your priority date in that case you can uh, uh, file a provisional application but within uh, within 12 months you have to file up your complete application uh, with complete detail of, about your uh, invention but the advantage of provisional application is that you get a priority date block or either you can if you are uh, your application is complete in that case means you have completed your patent means patent invention then you can directly file a complete a complete specification after in para 4 you have to give complete disclosure of your application in para 5 you have to give what what we are going to claims and para 6 you have to uh, date and signature at the end of the claim you have to um, um, sign your uh, patent application and in para 7 you have to give a brief disclosure of your patent application in abstract format uh, and uh, it is within 150 words so this is format of form 2 uh, this is format of form 3 and you, in that for, uh, form you have to mention your foreign filing details this is format of form 5 in this form you have to give, uh, give detail about inventor name uh, nationality address and uh, other details now what is the uh, piece for uh, filing um, in a uh, patent application we will first see uh, fees for natural person. The form fee, uh, form one fees is one thousand six hundred, and form two fees up to thirty pages and ten claims. It is covered in uh, one thousand six hundred. Form three there is no fees. Form five there is no fees. Form eighteen for natural person it is four thousand fees. Uh, and if your uh, patent application containing ten claims and specification having only 10, uh, thirty pages, in that case your complete uh, uh, patent application can be filed within 5,600 5, uh, 5, rupees. And if your uh, uh, means complete specification pages is more than 30 they, and uh, claims are more than uh, 10, then you have to pay additional fees. 
other than natural person means if it is company or any other um, third person other than natural person in that case form 1 fees is 8000 rupees and form 2 fees uh, fees is covered in 8000 rupees if it is within 30 pages and 10 claims uh, form 3 uh, fees is not there form 5 fees is not there form 18 uh, fees is there uh, that is 28 uh, 20000 rupees uh, uh, means for company it is uh, minimum uh, Application fees for uh, patent is 28,000. So, this is a patent filing for uh, patent application. Application fees for patent application. Now, how your patent application can be prosecuted? After filing of patent application, your patent application will be uh, published in uh, patent office journal. Uh, after uh, means naturally it is uh, take 18 months for publication and if you want your uh, application early published then you have to file form 9 after publication you uh, if anyone having any opposition regarding your patent uh, patent application you have filed then he can oppose your patent by third party means any person can oppose your patent uh, in uh, after publication Okay, if any uh, opposition is not, then your request for uh, request for examination is taken up, and your uh, ex uh, apply patent application uh, is examined, and first examination report is issued. After first examination report is uh, issued, you have to file uh, your reply within six months. If you are unable to file your reply within six months, then you have to uh, file for extension of uh, three months. Okay, you can file uh, file twice for extension. Means total twelve months can be uh, taken by you for reply if uh, you apply for extension. Means uh, means within six months you have to file your reply. But if you want to take uh, extension uh, with three uh, with uh, three months and three months means six months you can get uh, extension with uh, paying fees. After that, if you uh, after you are reply uh, receive your re reply your uh, uh, a patent application will be further e examined and uh, on the basis of that uh, hearing may be offered and after hearing your uh, patent application may be granted or refused after the, your gra application uh, grant um, granted your uh, application will be uh, means uh, patent gra granted information will be published in uh, pub publication in after publication, even anyone having any opposition of the patent, any interested party can file a post grant opposition. And if post grant opposition is uh, uh, settled and your uh, patent continue or either continue or uh, may revoke after uh, post grant opposition. Okay, these this, this all are regarding patent. Now we will see second intellectual property that, that is design. Now, design is an ornamental or aesthetic aspect of an article that can be registered with the patent, uh, patent of, uh, means, uh, design office. Design may consist of 3D features that like uh, shapes, si size, or 2D features like patterns, lines, or colors. Design must appeal, appeal to the eye. And all the uh, uh, means design uh, registration only involve aesthetic aspect that does not cover any functional aspect. Design is pri uh, primary aesthetic in nature and does not protect any technical feature or functional features. Okay, so these are some consumer products that can be uh, can, that can be registered under uh, Design Act. Now these are some pharmaceutical products that also can be uh, registered under D uh, Design Act. Now these are textile and jewelry. So these are categories of uh, means uh, categories of design that can be uh, uh, register under design act. Now, what, what, uh, why there is need for uh, means uh, registration of design? The registration of design uh, uh, um, means give uh, means right to the uh, means uh, applicant that he can uh, apply their uh, design to any article in which class they are uh, register their design. If if someone uh, design their design under a toothbrush uh, brush, uh, uh, category, then he can apply this design to uh, that uh, to, uh, toothbrush uh, that is he means um, he is going to mark, mark, uh, introduce in market. Uh, he can prevent uh, unauthorized copying or imitation of design by other or competitors. 
he can license or author, authorize other person to use uh, register design uh, he can sell the rights to the industrial design to someone else so these are the uh, advantages of uh, registration uh, registration of the design now we will see how uh, how to file a design in various means office the application for application procedure for design is same as that of patent application means you can either phys file physical filing or electronic filing physically you can file in various uh, uh, all four patent offices means ipo delhi ipo mumbai ipo chennai or ipo kolkata you can go directly there and uh, submit your application or you can directly file your uh, application electronically and the prosecution is same examination registration and publication of your registration and post registration procedures are same as that of patent application now requirement of uh, design uh, means uh, design uh, filing a design application the application fees is 1000 rupees for individual and 4000 rupees for other than individual natural persons uh, and in that case uh, means the requirement of uh, design application uh, need form one means two sets of your design and power of attorney if you have uh, means uh, appointed any uh, agent in that case you have, you have to file a patent a power a power of attorney uh, um, for that person assignment document if you have uh, means assign your rights to someone else third person means that in that case you have to uh, submit your assignment document uh, form 24 if applicant is, applicant is small entity and startup because uh, a small entity and startup uh, applicant give some discount in uh, means uh, fees in that case you have to file the uh, supporting document regarding that now how you can sh uh, show your intellectual property if your design is registered then you can uh, write uh, uh, register rgd or rd or r in a circle uh, uh, symbol with your uh, against your design now important time line, timeline for uh, design application uh, as that of patent the reply to uh, fr means first examination request should be filed in 6 months from the date of filing of application and the from the uh, from the date of issuing of the uh, fr okay so within 6 month you have to file your reply then after that say uh, within 6 month you have to uh, you can take uh, extension up to 3 months for the 6 month uh, by applying uh, within 3 months means if after every 3 month you have to file uh, request for a, uh, extension okay now term of design term of in the design is initially for 10 years and it can be extendable up to 5 years means uh, you can uh, total get validity of your design registration up to 15 years but renewal uh, request for renewal for Uh, 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 be, uh, have to file within ten month, ten years. Okay. Now we will see another uh, intellectual property that is trademark. Now trademark is a sign used to identify certain goods and services by a specific person or enterprises. Uh, trademark help to uh, distinguish that your uh, product or service from the competitor in the market. A trademark may be word, name, symbol, or device. or any combination of these are uh, came under a uh, trademark concept uh, now importance of uh, trademark why you need to register your trademark that uh, your if you register your trademark it will it will give a exclusive monopoly over the class of goods or service means if you are uh, register your trademark in specific category means if you are uh, uh, you are producing or giving service in a specific category means Uh, if you are uh, register your uh, trademark in service category then you can use that uh, service trade uh, means uh, your trademark in service category only and trade trademark allows business entity to build the public goodwill and brand reputation means if you are uh, if you are uh, brand is very well well known in public then uh, it it will uh, it will give a business and reputation to your business uh, uh, market and it assure customer about quality of good and service means from the point of view of customers if you if you go for a uh, specific brand or uh, brand product or brand service 
then he he get some assurance that i am getting the quality of good of service quality of uh, service or product if is of some uh, quality now these are some uh, subject matter trade uh, that uh, uh, covered under subject uh, trademark uh, trademark law that trademarks include service marks service marks like uh, mcdonald uh, service mark is there google is a uh, website uh, mark is there uh, that bis trademark is uh, known as certified certification marks bull mark is certification marks adidas and nike is trademarks and pepsi tagline that is ye dil mange more is a tagline trademark and uh, coca cola bottle and that name is also uh, a trademark uh, some sometimes it is uh, Bra- uh, domain name that is knockery dot com is a uh, trademark and Mercedes Benz uh, that uh, trademark is a uh, v- uh, visual marks so these are con- uh, considered as various trademarks sometimes some uh, music and sometimes some vi- vi- visual uh, videographical uh, images are, are also considered as trademark so what is protected and what is not protected under trademark. some trademark uh, goods and services are registered are protected under trademark uh, but some are ex- exclu- uh, excluded from the trademark like state emblem official hallmarks emblems and intergovernment organization that cannot be registered at tra- a trademark so these these things are uh, excluded in, from the trademark registration so how you can uh, register indicate your trademark either you uh, when you are uh, patent apply uh, means trademark application is uh, uh, pending for uh, registration in that case you uh, uh, simply init- uh, may mention tm uh, in your tm against your trademark and when your uh, uh, trademark is registered then you can uh, means uh, you can show r in a circle as a registered uh, against your trademark okay so th- this is the difference Uh, where, uh, how you can uh, show your trademark is pending or uh, your trademark is already registered. So how to protect your trademarks? So trademark registration is optional. It is not compulsory. You have to uh, file your, uh, no, means register your trademark. But uh, registration of trademark having some advantage. Means you can prosecute, uh, means uh, legal, uh, legal, legal, um, prosecution can be initiated uh, legal uh, legal suit can be initiated on um, if you having your trademark register means uh, means unregistered trademark also can be prosecuted but uh, but uh, yeah, your uh, prosecution will be very easy when your trademark is already registered the validity of trademark is initially for 10 years but you have to renew in de- uh, you you can uh, renew indefinitely your trademark uh, but you have to uh, uh, file your uh, renewal application uh, after every uh, 10 years in case of non use means you are uh, you have your trademark register but you are not using your trademark in that case you will lost your trademark uh, in case of non renewal means if you have registered your trademark after 10 years you you have not uh, uh, renewed your application for registration of trademark means in that case your uh, trademark will be lost or in case of non policing means anyone is uh, anyone can use your uh, trademark and you are not taking any action against it uh, means them in that case your uh, trademark will be lost so these uh, these are the condition condition for protecting your trademark now we will see another uh, intellectual property that is co- copyright Uh, in simple word copyright is a right to copy means if you are author of some uh, some uh, artistic work and you have uh, with the publication of that uh, uh, your work you are the author of that work and you get some uh, specific right means moral rights and ec- economical rights uh, first we will say copyright is an exclusive right granted to creator uh, on exception of uh, expression of an idea means if you are uh, written any novel then you have right to uh, various rights under the copyright act copyright owner has right to reproduce translate adopt perform distribute and publicly display the work means these rights are 
given by the copyright law to the author of the uh, author of that uh, copyright um, copyrighted article uh, work uh, registration of the copyright is not mandatory since copyright comes with uh, into existence as soon as the intellectual property uh, intellectual work is work is created as, as i already mentioned as you have published your uh, cop, uh, artistic work it will get uh, uh, you will get a specific rights means reproduction translation adaptation rights to you but if you want to um, uh, enforce uh, means uh, enforce your right in that case you have to register your copyright to registry office okay so these are the condition for uh, condition for copyright now various subject matter of copyright Uh, the subject matter various uh, uh, various subject matters are literary work dramatic work sound recording artistic work musical work and films these are comes under copyright act every copyright uh, copyright owner having some rights means copyright owners have moral rights and economic rights rights moral rights means to protect the personality personality of the author means the uh, moral rights having uh, means the ownership of that uh, copyright work they were changes means the authorship the authorship means if if a author uh, of a artistic novel is will be same even though he uh, he transfer his economic right to someone else so these are covered under moral rights economic right means to bring the economic benefit uh, these economic rights are trans not, uh, transferable he, he can uh, transfer his right to someone else or third person now duration of copyright for the literary dramatic musical and artistic work published during the lifetime of author they, uh, that will uh, give uh, uh, get validity of life plus 60 years of the author and all other work is uh, means uh, work created by someone uh, anonymous or posthumous uh, or work created under the uh guidance of uh, government of uh, government organization cinema and sound recording and photographs these all artistic works uh, get validity of 60 years from the date of publication now examination of the copy uh, examination fees for the copyright work the copyright uh, work registration fees is 500 rupees for literary dramatic and artistic and musical work for artist um, for artistic work various artistic work like Uh, uh that you use on good and services that uh, that rate application fees of 2000 rupees for sound recording it is 2000 rupees for films it is 5000 rupees now we will see uh, the, uh fifth intellectual property that is gi so what is this uh, gi for the introduction to you people to various gi or office related some uh, uh, video we will see that video चिंदी चोर के साथ घमासान के बाद अब आईपी नानी बिजी हो गई अपनी पोती की शादी की तैयारियों में संगीत वाले दिन जब छोटू उनसे मिला तो वाओ नानी आप तो बिल्कुल छाए हुए हो आपके सामने तो मधुबाला को भी कॉम्प्लेक्स हो जाए ओए, मस्का लगाना बंद कर ये बता तुझे क्या चाहिए नानी आपने तो मेरा दिल ही तोड़ दिया क्या एक प्यारा सा लाडला सा बच्चा अपने नानी को कॉम्प्लीमेंट भी नहीं दे सकता <laughs> अच्छा चल एक्सेप्ट किया तेरा कॉम्प्लीमेंट अब बता तुझे क्या चाहिए मुझे कुछ नहीं चाहिए बस आपके हाथ की वो स्पेशल वाली चाय पीनी है बस इतनी सी बात के लिए इतना बड़ा मस्का मस्का नहीं नानी आपा सचमुच बहुत ही रॉकिंग लग रही हो ये साड़ी आप पर बहुत ही अच्छी लग रही है अरे ये तो स्पेशल लखनवी चिकनकारी है लखनवी चिकनकारी पूरी दुनिया में मशहूर है ये अपनी खूबसूरत और बारीक एम्ब्रॉयडरी के काम के लिए फेमस है लेकिन पता है इसकी सबसे बड़ी खासियत क्या है क्या है ये एक रजिस्टर्ड जीआई है जीआई? वो क्या होता है नानी जीआई का मतलब होता है जियोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशंस। 
हिंदी में जिसे भौगोलिक उपदर्शन कहते हैं ये किसी समुदाय का बौद्धिक अधिकार है वो विरासत जिन्हें प्रोटेक्ट और एनकरेज करने की बहुत आवश्यकता है मुख्यतः इन टाइप्स में रजिस्टर्ड होती है नेचुरल गुड्स मैन्युफैक्चर्ड गुड्स टेक्सटाइल्स हैंडीक्राफ्ट्स, फूड स्टफ अच्छा हम्म, चल अब ना किचन में चलते हैं और गर्मा गर्म चाय बनाते हैं हाँ 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 किचन की ओर जाते हुए नानी ने छोटू को अपना देश घुमा दिया छोटू जी नानी ये देख ये पेंटिंग देख ये एक मधुबनी पेंटिंग है बिहार की और ये है हिमाचल की कांगड़ा पेंटिंग तेरे नानू को देश की कला और संस्कृति से जुड़ी हुई चीजों को इकट्ठा करने का बहुत शौक है अच्छा ये कठपुतलियाँ देख रहा है हाँ ये राजस्थान की हैं। इसी तरह छत्तीसगढ़ से बस्तर ढोकरा आंध्र प्रदेश से तिरुपति लड्डू असम से मूगा सिल्क नागालैंड से नागा मिर्च और मध्य प्रदेश के बाघ प्रिंट ये सब रजिस्टर्ड जी हैं। ओके okay. ये हमारे देश की कला और संस्कृति का प्रतीक हैं। हमारे देश में हुनर और कला का इतना भंडार है कि अभी से ही 300 से ज्यादा रजिस्टर्ड जी हैं। है नानी। चल अब तू चाय बनाने में मेरी मदद कर एक बर्तन में पानी ले और उबालने के लिए रख यस yes, बॉस पता है छोटू तुझे मेरे हाथ की चाय इतनी पसंद क्यों है क्यों है नानी क्योंकि ये स्पेशल दार्जिलिंग की चाय है ये देश की सबसे पहली रजिस्टर्ड जीआई है जो 2004 में रजिस्टर्ड हुई थी लेकिन नानी एक बात बताओ इन जी से फायदा क्या होता है देखो छोटो ज्यादातर जी आई गाँव के समुदाय के होते हैं इनसे कारीगरों बुनकरों किसानों की आमदनी बढ़ती है उनको अपनी मेहनत का सही दाम मिलता है और उन वस्तुओं की डिमांड भी बढ़ती है साथ साथ खरीदने वालों को भी विश्वास हो जाता है कि वो एक जेनुइन चीज खरीद रहे हैं वैसे नानी मुझे एक आइडिया आया है अरे वाह छोटू तेरे को आइडिया यस नानी अगले महीने फॉरन से मेरे कुछ दोस्त आ रहे हैं क्यों ना मैं उन्हें हमारे देश के कुछ सुंदर जी आई प्रोडक्ट गिफ्ट में दूँ ये तो बहुत ही अच्छा आइडिया है छोटू उन्हें ये चीजें जरूर पसंद आएंगी और हमारे देश की कला का नाम भी होगा देखा नानी आपकी संगत में मैं कितना इंटेलिजेंट हो गया हूँ हाँ भाई ये बात तो है <laughs> <laughs> और इस तरह एक बार फिर आईपी नानी ने आईपीआर का झंडा ऊंचा लहरा दिया so uh, as you have seen in uh, this video various gi i mean uh, various gi product are uh, shown in this video so gi is a product that having specific geographical origin you have uh, already seen uh, means observe that means whether it is darjeeling tea whether it is uh, rajasthani uh, rajasthani katputli whether it is nagpuri orange all these having some a uh, uh, geographical origin means the specific geographical origin and these geographic uh, means gi indicate indic, uh, indication having some reputations means possess some quality or some specific reputation due to that origin that uh, means due to means due to specific uh, due to specific uh, the geographical area area there is some quality or some uh, quality enhancement is there and therefore uh, these are different from the uh, pro uh, same product from the different area so these are the geographical indicate uh, indications there are various uh, uh, gi already uh, registered uh, there are more than 350 uh, gi gi already registered in india uh, uh, some of are there uh, darjeeling tree मदुरे माली वायनाट जीरा राइस सूरत झरी क्राफ्ट नागपुरी ऑरेंज दीज आर सम जी आई ऑलरेडी रजिस्टर्ड दिस इज दार्जिलिंग टी
This is Makwana marble. This is Ratlami Sev. Uh, these are Kanchipuram silk. These all are already registered here. So, what are the rights uh, means uh, uh, obtained by the GI registration? First right is ex that is these rights are exclusive rights used uh, used uh, used by the uh, register registered uh, group of peoples, and they can opt um, they, they can initiate any infringement suit against any uh, someone if he, they are claiming. Uh, Claiming uh, the specific uh, that product is from specific area. If uh, someone is uh, selling uh, uh, their mango production of uh, produced mango in the name of hapus, and these uh, uh, hapus are not not from specific uh, Ratnagiri or uh, nearby area. In that case, uh, people from the Ratnagiri and nearby area uh, initiate infringement suit against that person for false claiming. Of that GI already registered GI, so these are rights uh, um, got by the uh, by registration of GI, and these rights are not transferable. Means they cannot um, uh, assign their rights regarding GI to someone else because the, these rights are already uh, means uh, already uh, given to specific uh, group of peoples. Okay. Now, how you can go for uh, GI registration? In India, GI registration is, uh, is compulsory. Means you have to register your GI. Only then you can claim any uh, GI uh, tag, tag to your product. GI indication registry examine and publish. Means after uh, filing your um, GI registration application, your uh, application will be scrutinized, examined, and published in the uh, journal. And if anyone having any objection regarding uh, registration of that GI, that specific GI, then uh, your that uh, opposition is uh, heard, and uh, your application regarding your uh, this uh, 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 means uh, decision regarding your application is taken on the basis of that uh, opposition. Uh, initially, your registration is valid for ten years, but you have to renew after every ten years. Means. You can uh, the the renewal uh, renewal procedure is same as that of the trademark application. Now, uh, finally, we will see semiconductor and integrated circuit design uh, registration. So, semiconductor integrated circuit means a product having transistor other circulatory element element which are inseparably formed on a semiconductor material. Or an insulating material and designed to perform an electronic circulatory function. Means this uh, semiconductor device having a small small IC chips and all uh, circulatory element and uh, that all are um, fixed on a semiconductor material. And these uh, these uh, IC chips are designed for doing a specific uh, specific um, uh, functions. Um, these uh, say, uh, means uh, say IC design are not covered under patent, copyright, or trademark law uh, because all other law are not uh, adequately protect uh, uh, your IC design. Um, the some of the uh, uh, means uh, some of the uh, means some of the uh, problem is that in various uh, design means delay in registration. If you are go. Uh, try to uh, protect your uh, IC design in pattern, then uh, it will be delay up to, uh, delay up to five to six years, uh, means four to five five years. Uh, after uh, that, you can get your IC design registered, but uh, it will be of no use because uh, after every three or six months, your IC will be outdated. Uh, therefore, there is a need of uh, new um, law. Uh, for uh, IC chips, you cannot claim your IC chips because uh, there are thousands of small small uh, elements are there in IC chips, and if you try to claim on a paper, then it will be take thousands of paper to claim that uh, IC chips, and that's why uh, it is not covered under patent uh, patent law, and design law not for functional aspect. As I already mentioned, the uh, design law cover only aspect. Uh, Aesthetic aspect means functional aspects are not uh, covered under uh, Design Act. Therefore, uh, IC chips need to be covered under separate law.
and as I all, as uh, we are all, all know, IC chips can be reverse engineered, engineered easily. As soon as you uh, uh, launch your product uh, in market, within three or six months, your IC chips can be reverse engineered. So all, due to all these uh, criteria, you there is a need of uh, separate law for uh, registration of semiconductor and IC chips. Now your uh, registration of IC chips can be uh, done at sc siclg.gov.in. Here you can go and register your IC chip. And application of uh, application and uh, usage of IC chips is in various uh, various industry, whether it is medical industry, communication industry, electronic industry, and biomedical industry. Everywhere we are using IC chips, and therefore there is a need to protect your intellectual property in the form of IP. IC chips design, layout design registration. Now, registration of semiconductor and integrated circuit layout design. Who can apply? Means if you are a creator, you can apply. If you, you are a creator and you, are, you have assigned your rights to someone else, in that case, that, uh, that uh, assign, assignee can be apply for um, registration of uh, your uh, layout, uh, IC, IC layout design. Now, how you can apply? Application can be registered on in a prescribed form and fees along with the de design detail and drawings. And you have to go to this specific site and you can get your uh, uh, IC chips layout design registered there. Now, validity of your IC chips. Only 10 year registration uh, means validity is given to you after registration of your IC, IC uh, chip design. Okay. Now, we will see how... Uh, I have uh, conclude all the uh, intellectual property in different uh, way uh, in some uh, this slide. Now, first, uh, as I mentioned, academics and students uh, directly go for the publication of uh, this, uh, your work. But I will suggest you that you go to first protection of your intellectual property and then go for publication. If you are working in a product or a process, then you uh, initially go for uh, first, you uh, come to patent office and uh, register your patent, and you can go for uh, publish. Uh, after that, you can go for your public uh, publication in research journal. Uh, next point is all IP rights are territorial. As I already mentioned, if you want to uh, uh, register your patent, uh, uh, intellectual property in various country, in that case, you have to apply apply to each country for uh, reg registration of your intellectual property. Registration is by uh, done by the sovereign country. Means if you are uh, applying your uh, uh, um, that uh, registration to intellectual property in that specific country, the government of country and law uh, law of that land will give you uh, space uh, means registration uh, facility. Right, uh, third point is right for the limited period of time. Means as I already mentioned, in, uh, various intellectual property uh, that. Uh, the rights are given to you at a limited period uh, for specific time. And third one is no automatic re relief to infringement. Means if you uh, if someone infringing your intellectual property, in that case you have to file in uh, initiate infringement suit against that uh, uh, person who is infringing your intellectual property. Government. Uh, will not help you to uh, initiate any infringement suit against that, that person. Means you have to initiate uh, intellectual pro means uh, infringement suit against that person on uh, by own. Uh, a renewal fees have to be paid for some intellectual property. As we have seen in uh, in case of trademark, in case of design, in case of um, copyright, in case of uh, GI. In that uh, case, uh, after every ten years or after five years you have to uh, file uh, renewal fees. And uh, la uh, last point is appointment of patent agent is not compulsory. In case of uh, a patent application, if uh, you can file your uh, patent application by your own. And uh, if you are, uh, means you are compatible with your patent application, uh, drafting and all these things, you can file your patent application by own. Now, comparison of all uh, different IPs. I have uh, already mentioned six intellectual property in uh, uh, this uh, uh, presentation. We will see various intellectual pro property, how they are different from each other. 
now uh, first we say uh, patent uh, patents now patent uh, patents cover pro either product or a process okay so these intellectual property cover under patents and criteria of, uh, uh, patent, uh, of uh, means uh, granting of uh, patent is uh, it should be novel it should be inventive it should having a uh, some industrial applicability and validity of patent is 20 years and another uh, intellectual property is design uh, the criteria is it should be uh, 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 ornamental and aesthetic aspect uh, of an article this are the either 2d or uh, 3d uh, uh, structure of that design is considered uh, for uh, registration criteria of that uh, design registration is novelty and originality and validity is initially for 10 years after uh, that you can renew for five years in this total 15 years can be uh, validity can be made uh, under design registration uh, third intellectual property is trademark that trademark cover word numerical names drawings 3d signs combinations of colors words and non-visible signs and such as music and fragrance these are covered under trademarks law and criteria for uh, these are trademarks distinctive uh, distinctiveness means you uh, uh, you can uh, uh, distinguish it from the uh, uh, from the competitor the validity is indefinitely means uh, you have you can uh, you can renew up to indefinitely, but uh, uh, you have to renew after every 10 years. For copyright, literacy, art, music, and film works are covered under uh, Copyright Act. And uh, criteria of uh, this uh, copyright is originality. And validity is uh, of a uh, creator plus 60 years. And for GI, uh, GI covered product having specific GI origin and uh, quality, having specific uh, reputation that are covered under GI and criteria is particular quality, particular uh, char uh, characteristic or good or due, uh, goods due to specific area or territory is considered for GI and validity is same as that of the uh, trademark means regist uh, registration for initial registration is valid for 10 years but you have to renew, uh, you can renew uh, till indefinitely. Uh, last uh, last intellectual property is semiconductor and integrated circuit and that uh, IC chips are covered under this law and criteria is originality and uh, the val validity of this uh, semiconductors uh, uh, integrated circuit uh, design under the uh, under this law is 10 years so these are all various intellectual properties we have covered today now we will see various career opportunities, intellectual property uh, field. Um, in government sector, you can uh, uh, join uh, uh, as an examiner in various uh, intellectual property offices. In patent office, you can uh, join as an examiner of patents and design. In, in that, uh, the eligibility for the, the uh, for examiner of patent and design uh, is that uh, if you are from science back, uh, background, then you have to uh, you should have educational qualification is either msc or pg degree in science and in in case if you are uh, graduate from uh, engineering background then only graduation is uh, educational requirement for uh, joining as an examiner of patent and design in case of uh, examiner of trademark and gi you have to uh, you have you should have a um, law degree uh, in uh, you should have law degree um, to join as an examiner of trademark and GI. Uh, same is that of uh, uh, examiner of uh, copyright. Means for uh, trademark, GI, and copyright, you should have uh, LLB or LLM degree. Uh, for uh, private job, you can join. Uh, you can join as a patent agent. Uh, patent agent. If you uh, for patent agent uh, means uh, for pa patent agent you have to uh, clear up exam that patent agent exam uh, carried by uh, patent office and uh, educational qualification for that uh, patent agent ex exam you have a uh, degree in science field means either bsc or bsc degree or you should have uh, uh, engineering degree science and technology uh, graduation should be needed for uh, 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 filing as a patent agent okay for applying for the patent agent. For trademark agent, it is uh, you should have a 
LLB degree. You can join as JRFR uh, or SRF in various patent facilitation centers. You, uh, you can join as a patent litigation and other opportunity, uh, various private firms. So these are the uh, various uh, in, uh, career opportunity, this uh, intellectual property field. And now, if you want any further training uh, uh, on intellectual property, you can uh, contact this RGNRPM, which is situated in Nagpur, Maharashtra. These are the contact number. You can you can contact them for further uh, training and all this uh, information. Okay, if you have any, any quiz, you can ask me. Hello, Jashin Madam. Sir, there are some questions in chat box. Can I ask? Sir? For your... Just yes. a minute. Yes, sir. Hello. Uh, sir, myself, Kanade. Hello. Uh -huh. uh, sir, there is a question in chat box. Uh -huh. Can I read it? Uh -huh. uh, provisional patent field and also provisional number assigned, but not completed the procedure yet after many years, what now can be done? Uh, it is a query from Professor Dr. Muhammad Ali Ansari. Uh, so, sir, if you are uh, file a, a provisional patent, uh, uh, provisional specification, uh, in that case, you have to file a uh, complete specification within 12 months. If you are not uh, file your uh, complete specification within 10, uh, 12 months, your patent uh, means uh, your patent application will be abandoned. In that case, your uh, patent application will not be prosecuted. Okay, so you have, I think you have not uh, filed your C, a complete specification within 12 months. I hope you, I have uh, uh, answered your question. Yes, sir. Yes. Any further question you can ask. Uh, sir, I said no questions in uh, chat box. Thank you. Uh, so is there any question from audience? Participants? Yes. Sir, please, you can ask. Uh, please unmute uh, yourself and ask. Shall I file this as a new patent this time also? Yes, yes. You can yes. you can file this patent application again, but if you are, you have already uh, this, uh, already disclosed all the things in uh, uh, provisional specification, then that provisional specification is already I mean can be considered as anticip uh, anticipation. Okay. Thank uh, uh, is there any participants? Please raise your hands. Uh, Madam, can we move to the next session? Yes, sir. Now I would like to request Dr. Kanade, sir, IQSC coordinator, to express the vote of thanks. Uh, good, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, myself, Dr. S.I. Kanade, take privilege to offer a vote of thanks to all the dignitaries. On the behalf of IQAC JSM College, I extend a warm welcome to the participants for registering and attending this national level workshop on the intellectual property rights on virtual platform. I would like to express my gratitude to all the esteemed dignitaries of the webinar for their presence and contribution to make this webinar a great success. I extend my gratitude to our honorable resource person, uh, Mr. Manoj Sumkuwarji, uh, for his valuable guidance, uh, Assistant Controller of Patents and Designs, Patent Office Mumbai, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India, uh, for sharing his valuable knowledge with us, in spite of his BG schedule, to grace his uh, grace this event and share, uh, sharing his knowledge. A special thanks to Dr. Anil Patil, sir, principal of JSM College, for providing immense support to make the webinar successful. I extend my gratitude to Advocate Gautam Patil, president of Janta Shikshan Mandal, and all the office bearers of Janta Shikshan Mandal 
for their support and encouragement. I must thank the organizing team to make this webinar successful. I thank the participants for their active participation. Thank you everyone once again for making this great success. Uh, and with the permission of principal, I declare that this webinar is uh, will end now. Uh, thank you, sir, for your uh, nice presentation. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you for uh, okay. your... Uh, and I, ho I hope uh, uh, various applications can be filed from your uh, your college. Yes, sir. We will uh, try to have the best opportunity, sir. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. Everyone, please uh, fill the feedback form. Which is mentioned there in the chat box.